So we are back for another video in our Best Places to Live series. Today we're going to be talking about Saskatchewan yet again. I made this list based on articles I read online, people I've talked to, personal experience visiting the province, stuff like that. So as always, this list is my opinion. It's not absolute. There are plenty of other fantastic places to live in the province that easily easily could have made this list so let's get into it the five best places to live in Saskatchewan number five Mooseman here's a place you probably weren't expecting to hear Mooseman is located in southeastern Saskatchewan very close to the Manitoba border it's only about an hour and 20 minutes or so from Brandon so you're, you're close to a small city with everything you would need that let's say you couldn't find in Mooseman. It's a small town with great people, affordable housing, and a very diversified economy, again for how small it is. The economy focuses on oil, gas, agriculture, and potash mining. The crime rate in Mooseman is 35% lower than the national average. The overall cost of living is 14% lower than the national average and housing is 66% lower than the national average. But keep in mind, Mooseman is a very small town and you're gonna live a rural lifestyle if you move there. Number four, Swift Current. Swift Current is honestly one of the most underrated places in the entire province. Again, that's just my opinion, but that's what I think. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Swift Current is located in southwestern Saskatchewan, about roughly two and a half hours east of Medicine Hat, Alberta, right on the Trans-Canada. The overall cost of living is 13% lower than the national average, and housing is 63% lower than national average. For a town with less than 20,000 people, there are plenty of jobs to go around, and there's lots of opportunity in Swift Current. Number three, Saskatoon. We talk about Saskatoon a lot on this channel. I've already made two videos about the province, and in both videos I've talked about Saskatoon. I personally believe it's one of Canada's most underrated cities and that it takes a lot of hate. Obviously some is warranted because the crime rate is very high, but I honestly believe you can make the best of it in Saskatoon. The overall cost of living is 10% lower than the national average and this is very good for a city that has nearly 300,000 people. Housing is 52% below the national average, obviously now with how inflated housing is, and well, honestly, everything is inflated. You're, you're going to pay a premium for prices than you would have even eight months ago, let alone two years ago. And as I mentioned, yes, crime is 30% above the national average. So, if you are planning to move to Saskatoon, do your research and find a good neighborhood, low crime, that's safe, and one where you can truly make the best of your experience in Saskatoon. Number two, Estevan. Located basically right on the U.S. border in southeastern Saskatchewan, Estevan is a big mining, oil, and power generating town. Strong, strong business-oriented economy in Estevan. There's also a lot of community pride in the town. People love their home. If you watched any of the Centennial Cup, which is the National Junior A Hockey Championship, it was hosted in Estevan this spring. It was on full display, especially if you watch some of the little side clips um, that TSN made. It was, it was really interesting to watch. The overall cost of living is 12% lower than the national average, and housing is 57% lower. Like most prairie towns, crime rate is higher than the national average, but still you could be doing a lot worse than Esteban. Number one, Weyburn. If you look at any list online, this is what you're going to find. Weyburn is consistently listed as one of the best places to live in the province, and honestly, it's for good reason. For starters, the average income is $126,000. I know average is not the best metric to use. It should be using median, but still, having the average income at $126,000, that's pretty impressive. There's low unemployment in the town, and its housing costs are 63% lower than the national average. It's a very good combination to have. Grain collection, oil and gas is what makes up a good portion, most of Weyburn's economy. 
The infrastructure in the town is very good and it's a really good place to raise a family. Overall cost of living in Weyburn is 13% lower than the national average. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I know there are plenty of other places that could have made this list. Let me know about them in the comments. Believe me, it, it was not easy to make this list. I, uh, I did a lot of research before putting all this together. And also, another thing to note, I know it's very hard to say that places are still affordable nowadays with our record inflation we have here in Canada, but it's all still relative. Saskatchewan is still more affordable than Toronto, just as much as it was two years ago, just at a higher cost. Everything everywhere is going up, so it's still relevant. I completely get that places like Saskatoon and Regina probably aren't as affordable for people as they were, say, last year, but still. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.